Welcome to Silver Heist, the channel where we we buy at face value, but we stack at spot value. So this is only my second uh, heist search. First one was a loose bag from a bank. This time we special ordered a whole box. So we're looking at halves. This is $500 worth of halves. And it's glued. And different than maybe others, I thought I saw on other people's channels a bunch of holes on the back, so I can't tell that this is a full box, but it's glued shut, seems unsearched. So what we're looking for at Silver Heist, we have 50 cent coins, we have $500 of bank rolled items in a box. We're looking for 90% silver, that's anything older than 1964 and older. 40% silver is JFK's from 1965 to 1970. Proofs are exceptionally finished coins that are specially minted. I believe they're also S marked uh, from the S San Francisco Mint. And NIFC's not intended for circulation. Low minted JFK's from 2002 forward instead of 20 million per mint. Uh, it's more like two or three million and so these are only sold to collectors shouldn't really be in circulation But I've seen other folks get them out of bank roll coins So let's open up our box So Question one is this a full box? I hope so So this should be uh, 500 uh, $500 times uh, $10 per roll, there should be 50 in here. So let's try and, this seems a little funny. I hope it's on the up and up. <laughs> but let's just count this, since we've never done this before. Let's just count this at 50. All right, so we got 50. So we got everything there. I don't see any uh, enders. Flip the box over and just look on the other side, see what we see. And I think if we look here, this is a, is the other side. More bicentennials, nothing jumping out at me as being anything special. So let's just jump into it and start opening up some coins. So these are bankrolled. They're from Loomis. And this is a $10 roll. And everything that we're seeing is JFK. Oops. So my bank that I got this from, it took them over a week and a half to get these. They told me to give them anywhere from a week to a week and a half to, to get a delivery in. I already told them to have one waiting for me a week from Saturday. And, uh, and they were happy to do that. Uh, but they do not want to see these coins a second time. So they do not want to see them back at their bank. So I'm going to have what others have called a dump bank. So I'll dump them someplace else, special order them from one place, dump them another place. So don't see anything here. We are now at the halfway point. So let's look at this bunch to so bicentennial. Maybe the second half will do a little better than the first half. First one, here's our first silver heist, 1969D, I think, or is that just messy? I can't tell, but it's 1969, it's definitely got a silver edge to it, so let's put that aside. So our first silver heist for the day took us 
took us to like the 33rd roll to find one silver. So this is not our best effort, but we'll keep plugging away. So we've got one. Let's see if we can get more. One forty percenter, and no proofs, no not intended for circulation that we know of. We'll double check the pile. I don't think there's anything really recent in there, and no ninety percent silver, and only one soul coin. So let's put this on pause. Let's double check the other stuff, and we'll get back to you. Okay, so I've gone through all the coins. I've double checked. So this is what we look through. We're gonna return these to a bank that has a counter. I actually brought rolled coins back to them. Uh, rolls, I had actually bought paper rolls. And then the bank's like, oh, we need to run it through a machine anyways. So they ran it through the machine. So anyhow, in going through it, sort of the good news, bad news is that I didn't find any new silver coins. So that means my edge inspection is working, but the bad news is, yeah, I didn't find any more silver coins. But I did find a couple of coins that we do want to keep, and I will tell you why. Let me just open something up. So here is uh, his Wikipedia for JFK dollars, mintage figures. So date. Mint mark, business strike, proof mintages. So you can see, actually, you know, 100 million, 60 million bicentennial coins, over 200 million for uh, P and D. But then we didn't find any of these in my box. 1987, they dropped off dramatically. Didn't find any of those. But after 2000 and Two, these were only sold through the mint, I think as rolls to collectors. So they went from 20 million down to three, two million. So here we have a 2015 uh, D. So this is not intended for circulation. This made its way into our roll. I'm gonna put that aside. And 2002 D. So this is the first year of not intended for circulation and it found its way into circulation. So we have two of those and we have uh, one forty percent. So we have two not intended for circulation, one forty percent silver, 1969 D. And you can see the, well, I don't know if the camera can see it, but it's a much more of a white tone. And so a few others we're gonna keep, just cause I bought a book and I thought I'm going through so many coins. If I find nice versions of some, I have to see if I have duplicates, but this is a nice 2001. This is a fairly nice 1973 with some nice tone to it. 1978 with some nice tone. A pair of 1996Ds. I may already have one of these, so I'm just gonna look at my book and see if I if I need one of those for the book. But for the most part, this is Silver Heist. We're looking for 90% silver, 40% silver. We kind of struck out. We did get one, so we got one 40% silver. We're gonna start a stack of uh, not intended for circulation coins. And maybe after I get a roll, I'll see if I can find a coin shop or someone who collects uh, modern coins who might appreciate that. So we have two dates, 2002 and 2015. So that's it for the Silver Heist. So we did get one heist today. So at Silver Heist, we do buy at face value and we sell, well no, we stack. We don't sell, we hold, hold on for dear life. We hold and stack at um, spot value. So anyhow, so we can get rid of this $500 minus a few dollars back at the bank and hold on to that for our next box. And in the meantime, as I said in the movie Heist, everyone needs money. 
That's why they call it money. <laughs>